Hi folks, I am coming today because I was utterly surprised to open my mail and find that I had friend mail again from Miss Virginia Connor. Before I even got to send her her thank you, I have been so busy and I apologize, I am behind on friend mail. I have four things that need to go out by the end of this week and I have been so busy um, recovering from Portland to Coast and the ankle thing, which is still up and down with swelling to family functions to best friend outings. And then today I had to take my stepdad to a surgery today and so drop it off, then go to work, then come back and oh gosh, I'm just so exhausted. <laughs> but it was so sweet because I saw that Virginia had sent me something and this is a package behind. I didn't want to show my address, but it is really cute. I will open that in just a second. But what I wanted to do, since I have not sent Virginia her thank you. I will not share the card that I will be sending her, but I will share with you what I am going, what I picked up for her that I thought was just a Virginia thing. Um, so my thank you to hers, I usually like to make gifts, but when I saw this, it was just too perfect and I could not recreate. Um, it is called God in Every Moment and it has, there is no actual day or dates. Well, there's dates, but there's no actual days or year. And every page has an inspiring um, quote. And I loved it because she calls it a God wink, and I call this the book of God winks. And so every day, and I love it so much, and I thought of her immediately, and it has the pinks and the teal, which matches her craft room, and it sits up like this. Um, and it's just it just reminded me of her, so I hope she really loves it. If you're watching, Virginia, yes, this is what I picked up for you. I really love it. I wish there would have been two, but there was not. Um, but I love it. I love this one. It says live every day courageously. It cultivates trust. I just love it. It's just so pretty. And so that is for you, Virginia. I will be sending every, all of my friend mail out, believe it or not, Monday. I, from now until Monday, I'm working every day. Um, and I'm just swamped. So I'm sorry, folks. I did also get a letter from Mary Christofferson. Hi, Mary. I will read that today and I will be writing you back. And same with Amy Shanks from Snail Mail um, from Lisa's Halls. So I love having my little pen pals too. So let's get into this package from Miss Virginia Connor. She's so sweet. Look how pretty. Oh, look how pretty. I love this. What a pretty envelope. And this really pretty gold, goldy foil washi is pretty too. Oh my gosh, the card. Look how beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh, it's one of the tea cards. Oh my gosh, this is going up on my board. She said, Dear Mel, I was watching how excited you are, or you get when you do your Halloween stuff, and it got me wondering if I still had some of the material in my stash of scraps. Well, I had a small amount left and thought you could... Uh, really use or really have some or have some fun with it. Enjoy Virginia. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, I get so excited over Halloween. Well, all holidays, but Halloween is my fun mini album one. So, oh, look at this pretty little bag. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is spider web. OMG. Virginia. This is going on the cover of a mini album. I'm not going to lie. This is awesome. Do you guys see this? The spider webs in that? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. And you gave me so much. This is awesome. I can definitely use these in my mini albums. Thank you. Thank you so much, Virginia. You are ever so sweet. And again, be on the lookout for your God Wink book because uh, it's just meant for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Virginia. Um, and as I have you folks here, I figured since I have been showing so much hauls of Halloween goodies and things of that nature, I would share with you some of the cards that I've been making. There is a lot, so bear with me. So if you didn't want to watch this part, I understand. But I created this card. It says, Happy Halloween. I love using my stamps. Halloween is one of my stamped ones. These are actually skulls that I stamped and fussy cut out. And this is a die cut or a doily from last year, and then I use a spellbinder's die. I just love. And of course, the eek is a stamp too, and all that is a stamp. That's a Michael's stamp from last year. Oh no, I'm sorry, that is not. That is a stamp that I purchased at a local scrapbook store. So that is just one of them. I have them all in little baggies because they're actually going to go to um, the little store down the road. 
Not that I would probably sell them because they really don't sell a lot there. It's just kind of for fun and for experience. But um, So I made this Happy Thanksgiving card. I'm trying not to make a glare. This will go into the fall section. This is so cute. It says Happy Fall from the whole kit and caboodle. Isn't that stamp adorable? I did some Winka Stella on there and some glossy accents. I mean, just so cute. Love. And I actually didn't have an orange um, Copic or Spectrum Noir marker, so I actually used Crayola markers, folks. It's not funny. I love it. So here's another Halloween card. And here's one that I did with a, fright, with a die cut that it was gifted to me. So that was fun. Here's another one I did with just stamps. All that stamped in ink distressed. I love this stamp that I have. I have this really cool old stamp from like 1983, I believe, and that's the stamp. Love it. And these are from last year's collecting of paper. So I just had a lot of fun making cards. Uh, this is just some old paper as well. Just love these. This is probably my favorite card I've made. That is a stamp. Stamp. All these are stamps. The whole thing is a stamp, actually, that I just heat embossed, and I just love how it looked. So, actually, yeah, every single piece on here is a stamp. That, 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 and the background of the pumpkin is also a stamp. It's like a really pretty flourish that I just made look spooky. <laughs> So, let's see if I can find some more. So, there was quite a few card um, paper from last year that I had that, um, from this, I don't remember this line, but I went ahead and made quite a few cards out of them. I really liked the images, the vintage images. So that was pretty fun. I like, you know, of course, using my embossing folders. Those are always fun. Here's a little guy. Isn't he cute? And this is from last year's recollection paper. And a Happy Halloween stamp from Michael's Dollar Spot. And a chandelier. This was a die cut that was gifted, and I just did spooky. I just liked it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look Halloween, but to me it kind of did, because I had all purple rhinestones. Um, this card is actually really cool, and I'll take it out of the package to share it with you, because it's a easel card. You know, I like to do those. But it sits up like that. It says Happy Halloween. It has the spider. Love that one. And of course, I had to use some googly eyes. I love these little kitty cats. Did the Happy Halloween with Kitty on the Tree. I like this one too with the vellum behind, so you can see all the spookies through, and then stamped all the spider webs. I love this one. I really, so it's upside down, sorry. Really love this spooky music note paper, and my local scrapbook store had it in their clearance. 20 sheets for a dollar. So I actually bought them all last year because I really liked how it looked. And it's all, um, like glossy, super spooky. Here's some more of those googly eye guys that I love. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And just, there's a whole bunch more, but I'll just kind of pick through. Oh, I do love that. That was a Cricut cut that I made last year that I can't wait to try again this year. Um, I like that skull image. And a fun shaker. You know, bats and spiders in a spider web, why not? Cute paper. Again, happy trick-or-treating. <laughs> Some more of these. I want to say it's Cartabella or maybe Authentique. I don't really remember. There's this one. This is a stamp and just the fence die cut. But all these trees and stuff were all stamp and then the cat's a stamp too. And I actually drew an eyeball on this, the kitty. So pretty fun. Just another fun one here. And the one-eyed spider. My brother thought that was funny. Hocus Pocus. Trick or treat. I made a lot, folks. Hand over the candy and nobody gets hurt. Look how cute that is. And then I use these down here. Uh, this is a Michael stamp that I got last year. And used a die cut behind and used some silver rhinestones and stamped the rest. I just like how spooky those look. Just love it. Some more of those. Almost done. Almost done. And... Some more of the Cartabella stuff. See, I think it's Cartabella. I think I might be wrong. Another spooky Happy Halloween. And then this one. And these are die cuts. So the door actually opens and the tree. I did this whole scene. Did the moon and stamped out bats and stuff in it. So super fun. So those are my card chairs and my happy mail today. Again, thank you so much, Virginia Connor. You are ever so sweet. And I really hope you like your God Wink book. Um, and, uh... 
yeah, I'm just tired, folks. I'm sorry I haven't been on around. I haven't even really been shopping. Um, I guess I did buy the new Lawn Fawns. Uh, the um, custom craft dies that do the pop-ups. I did purchase these. They were on. I had a 40% off on these, so I did pick those up because I thought I would do a lot of pop-ups. and It's just easier to do that than guess. <laughs> so, all right, folks, thanks for coming, and I hope you all have a blessed day. And again, Virginia, thank you. If you're not familiar with her channel, folks, I will link below to her channel so you can go and check her out. She's ever so sweet, and I enjoy her all the time, all of her videos. <laughs> um, and uh, I hopefully next video will be uh, some mini album shares. So I've been working on them. I've been busy. If you can tell, I've been busy. So, all right, folks, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for coming.